Welcome to the Daily Word for Lent. Today's reading is taken from the Book of Isaiah, chapter fifty-five, verses ten to eleven. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower. And bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth; it shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. This is the word of the Lord. The Lord. Keep His word. Today's scripture has only two verses, like the Bible verses we usually recite instead of a story to be told. People would choose some short quotes from the Bible and make them their motto by repeating them from memory. Isaiah fifty-five, verses ten to eleven, is poetry. Part of the fourth servant song, from the five servant songs of Isaiah the prophet. It was written when the Persian king Cyrus the Great allowed the captive Jews to return to their homeland. Through Isaiah, God encouraged the returning Jews to rebuild Jerusalem, and explained the promise of God had never failed. It is worth to follow the way of God, because the law keeps His word. In verse ten, the prophet makes a metaphor that God's promise never fails. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there, might not be accurate today. The scientific knowledge that time. Could not recognize how the water cycle works. The rain and snowfall on land and sea, then evaporate, moisture condenses in the sky, then falls again. The loop repeats endlessly, but that is not important. The important thing is that all things on earth can nourish and grow, as the prophet said. They have watered the earth. Making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the showers and bread to the eater. The Lord keeps His word. God's promise never fails, just not accomplished the way we thought. God will accomplish what pleases Him and make successful the way. We should have faith in God. As God will take us forward, we ask God to help us to rid ourselves of all negative thoughts. For God will accomplish what He said today. All timings are God-given, and we will experience miraculous things as we remember God's word. God brings us through different stages of life. Let us have a time of reflection. Does your life get nearer to or further from God? Seek the Lord while He may be found. Call upon Him while He is near. Have you made an effort to find and call upon God? Do you believe that God keeps His promise? Let us pray.
O God, forgive us as we have forsaken you and chosen the way we desire. Please let us return to you and rebuild our faith, because you keep your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.